And so very Rubin, NV Link 144. And then this now sets the stage for the second half of the year, the following year, we call Rubin Ultra. One of the exciting news in the tech world came up at NVIDIA's GTC 2025 conference in San Jose, California, where CEO Jensen Huang unveiled exciting new AI accelerating GPUs set to launch in the coming years. The highlight of the event was the introduction of Vera Rubin, a GPU named after the renowned astronomer, scheduled for release in the second half of 2026. This powerful GPU will feature 288 gigabytes of memory and will be paired with a custom NVIDIA-designed CPU called Vera, promising significant performance improvements over its predecessor, Grace Blackwell, especially in AI training and inference tasks. In addition to Vera Rubin, Huang also announced the upcoming Vera Rubin Ultra, expected to finally come to light in 2027, which will offer even greater performance. These advancements show NVIDIA's commitment to pushing the boundaries of AI technology and maintaining its leadership in the industry. These developments are part of NVIDIA's broader strategy to meet the growing computational demands of advanced AI models, ensuring that industries worldwide can make good use of the full potential of artificial intelligence. To fully understand what this new innovation is all about, let's explore its features. Examining the GPUs and CPUs features. CEO Jensen Huang made a couple of announcements during the conference, and these announcements signified a major leap forward in artificial intelligence processing, with NVIDIA unveiling a series of GPUs and CPUs designed to push performance to levels never seen before. With the way Huang explained everything, this GPU promised an incredible 50 petaflops of FP4 inference performance per chip. When installed in a fully equipped NVL 144 rack system, the Vera Rubin GPU was expected to deliver an astonishing 3.6 exaflops of FP4 inference compute, which was 3.3 times more powerful than NVIDIA's previous Blackwell Ultra system. To complement this advancement, NVIDIA also introduced the Vera CPU, which was built with 88 custom ARM cores, providing 176 processing threads. This CPU was connected to the Rubin GPUs through an extremely fast 1.8 terabytes per second NVLink interface, allowing for seamless communication between components. This combination of high-speed processing and massive memory capacity was set to offer unprecedented efficiency in AI computations. These improvements highlighted NVIDIA's continued upper hand in AI computing, as the company focused on developing chips that could handle the increasing complexity of machine learning models. Jensen Huang also looked toward the future by announcing the next evolution of the Rubin series known as Rubin Ultra. According to him, this next-generation GPU was designed to use the NVL 576 rack configuration, significantly expanding computing capabilities. Unlike its predecessor, Rubin Ultra would feature individual GPUs made up of four massive processing dies, each one capable of achieving an extraordinary 100 petaflops of FP4 precision. When fully configured at the rack level, this system was projected to deliver an incredible 15 exaflops of FP4 inference compute power and 5 exaflops of FP8 training performance. This level of power would make the Rubin Ultra four times stronger than the Vera Rubin NVL 144 configuration. Each GPU in the Rubin Ultra series would be equipped with a huge amount as one terabyte of HBM4E memory allowing the complete system to hold a total of 365 terabytes of ultra-fast memory. These specifications demonstrated how NVIDIA was preparing for the future of AI, ensuring that its technology could handle the growing demands of machine learning and deep learning applications. While much of the focus was on the future, NVIDIA also revealed an exciting upgrade coming sooner with the introduction of the Blackwell Ultra B3, which was set to launch in the second half of 2025. Sounds impressive, right? It is also necessary to note that this GPU would feature two high-performance processors, delivering 15 petaflops of dense FPFOUR compute power per chip. When arranged in a complete NVL72 rack, the Blackwell Ultra B300 system was projected to achieve 1.1 exaflops of FP4 inference compute, representing a 1.5 times improvement over the existing Blackwell B200 configuration. In addition to its processing power, the B3 GPU would include 288 gigabytes of HBM3E memory, 
a significant increase from the 192 gigabytes found in previous Blackwell models. NVIDIA's announcements made it clear that the company was not only focused on improving AI performance, but also on creating hardware that could support the ever-growing needs of AI research in industry applications. By delivering hardware capable of handling increasingly complex models, NVIDIA was positioning itself at the forefront of AI innovation. The introduction of Vera Rubin, Rubin Ultra, and Blackwell Ultra B300 showed the company's commitment to developing technology that could transform fields ranging from autonomous vehicles to scientific research and beyond. These advancements came at a time when AI computing was reaching new levels of sophistication, requiring more power and efficiency than ever before. With AI models becoming larger and more complex, the need for more powerful GPUs and CPUs had never been greater. NVIDIA's latest offerings were set to ensure that researchers, businesses, and developers had access to cutting-edge technology that could accelerate AI training and inference at unprecedented speeds. By pushing the limits of what was possible, NVIDIA continued to cement its position as a leader in the AI hardware industry, promising a future where computing power would no longer be a barrier to innovation. NVIDIA's vision for AI and beyond. Among the announcements was the introduction of a forthcoming GPU architecture named Feynman, honoring the renowned physicist Richard Feynman. While specific details about Feynman's design and capabilities were scarce, Wang indicated that it would utilize the Vera CPU, deviating from the anticipated Richard nomenclature, and is slated for release in 2028. Huang also shared his vision of data centers evolving into AI factories, emphasizing their role in generating tokens. These tokens serve as the fundamental units of data processed by AI models. He suggested that, similar to traditional manufacturing plants producing physical goods, these AI factories would produce data tokens to enhance AI functionalities. This perspective shows the shifting landscape where data production and processing become central to technological advancement. Looking ahead, Huang envisions a future where physical AI becomes integral to daily life, with humanoid robots performing tasks traditionally undertaken by humans. NVIDIA is actively developing software platforms that enable AI models to train within virtual environments laying the groundwork for such advancements. This approach facilitates the development of robots capable of human-like labor, marking a significant step toward integrating AI into tangible real-world applications. In the nearer term, Huang anticipates that NVIDIA's chips will soon power approximately 10 billion digital agents designed to assist humans in various capacities. These agents could range from virtual assistants to more specialized AI-driven tools, all aimed at enhancing productivity and user experience. Furthermore, by the end of the year, NVIDIA plans to have all its engineers supported by AI models, reflecting the company's commitment to integrating AI into its operational framework. These developments highlight NVIDIA's strategic direction toward embedding AI deeper into both its products and internal processes. By pioneering new architectures like Feynman and promoting the concept of AI factories, NVIDIA is positioning itself at the forefront of the AI revolution, driving innovations that are set to transform industries in everyday life. Real-life application of Rubin Ultra and Feynman architecture. NVIDIA's upcoming GPUs, Rubin Ultra and the anticipated Feynman architecture, are expected to bring significant advancements across various industries. These GPUs designed to handle large-scale AI computations are likely to transform healthcare, autonomous driving, finance, and space exploration by providing unprecedented computational power. Starting with the healthcare sector, Rubin Ultra GPUs are anticipated to improve medical imaging and diagnostics. These processors are expected to speed up the analysis of complex medical images, allowing healthcare professionals to detect diseases earlier and with greater accuracy. AI models trained on vast data sets could use the increased processing speed to identify patterns that might be missed by human doctors. Substance discovery is also expected to benefit from these advancements, as simulations of molecular interactions could be conducted at a much faster rate. With AI-driven research becoming an important part of pharmaceutical development, the increased computational efficiency of NVIDIA's new GPUs could potentially reduce the time required to bring new medications to market. 
Healthcare institutions and researchers working with AI-powered solutions may find these GPUs useful in handling the increasing complexity of medical data. The autonomous driving industry is likely to see significant improvements with the integration of Rubin Ultra GPUs. Everyone knows that autonomous vehicles rely on massive amounts of sensor data to make real-time driving decisions. With the enhanced processing capabilities of these GPUs, self-driving systems could process this data more quickly, leading to improved safety and performance. Companies developing autonomous vehicles may utilize the increased computational power to refine AI models, enhancing their ability to recognize objects, predict movements, and navigate challenging driving environments. NVIDIA has been actively involved in providing AI-powered solutions to the automotive industry, and the introduction of these new GPUs is expected to further strengthen the role of AI in self-driving technology. In the financial sector, the use of Rubin Ultra GPUs could lead to faster and more precise data analysis. Financial institutions often deal with large data sets that require complex calculations for risk assessment, fraud detection, and automated trading strategies. The increased processing power of these GPUs may allow financial firms to analyze market trends in real time, leading to better decision-making. AI models trained on these GPUs could improve the accuracy of fraud detection systems by identifying suspicious patterns more efficiently. The growing reliance on AI-driven financial tools is likely to be further supported by the computational advancements provided by NVIDIA's latest technology. The field of space exploration is also expected to benefit from the capabilities of Feynman Architecture GPUs. Space missions generate vast amounts of data from telescopes, satellites, and planetary exploration. The ability to process and analyze this data quickly is crucial for scientific discoveries. NVIDIA's upcoming GPUs may enable researchers to conduct more detailed simulations of extraterrestrial events, enhancing their understanding of the universe. Space agencies and research institutions working on AI-driven astronomical analysis might find these GPUs essential for handling complex data sets and running high-resolution simulations. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.